I would like to call on the 2013 school captains, May Sharp and Holy Jafari to address the school. Firstly, I would like to start by saying thank you to all the parents, teachers, administrations, and faculty of Maripurka Senior High School. I would like to give a special thanks to Mrs. Markic for all that she has done for us at Maripurka Senior High School, especially this year. We all know how stressing it is at the head of year for all the year 12s. But because of your continuous support and encouragement, we're all here today celebrating this special day together. Most importantly, a big welcome and congratulations to the graduating class of 2013. We finally did it. It was an eventful journey we went through and I couldn't have asked for a better group of students, classmates and friends to share this moment with. It has been a long five years and a short five years. Long because of all the drama and bad homework, the boring readings, early morning classes and all other little crap holes that hit us in high school. Short because of all the long life relations, friendships, the lasting memories, and the truly interesting and amazing things we learned between the occasional bits of drudgery. Good or bad, long or short, I'll always remember this place. We walked into this school five years ago with no clue of what's in store for us, and today we leave this place as successful graduates. So congratulations on your achievement. You are certainly heading the right direction in life. During this time, we've also picked up something very important. And no, it's not swag, but, but rather knowledge and experience firsthand from some of the best teachers at Maribuka Senior High School. And for that we'll be forever grateful because they've molded us into the young adults we are today. I'm not going to mention anyone in particular, <coughs> Trayton, but seriously, the past five years of our lives have flown by us. In this final year of Year 12, we've been so caught up with handing in assignments, organising events, keeping up with schoolwork, and being the social group that we are, that it became so easy to forget about what was before us and everything that was ahead. It's crazy how fast that actually happened, and even crazier how much we've all grown up and become so close, not as a group, but as a family. Today is the day our teachers, family and friends have been preparing us for since Year 8, an event we're so close to, graduating. It felt like not long ago when we were all just small year eights, too scared to talk to one another and too shy to be ourselves. We were separated into our own little groups, had hair that resembled a bird's nest, and quoted lines from our favourite YouTube videos like, hey Angel, you're just sexy. <laughs> we were all pretty awkward on our first year at camp, but by the end of the year, you could see that bonds between small groups that had hardly talked to one another we're rapidly forming by the end of the year on our reward excursion to the zoo. In year nine, some of us performed in our very first school dance concert, and we still had pretty crazy, yet long and untamed hair. This year was, was probably the most memorable year for the Earth Carnival, as I remember almost everyone fully participating and being loud and supportive in all the events. This was also the year when girls fought hard and placed runner-up in the Lightning Carnival, and when and also the year when 18 of us went to Canberra and stopped in Sydney with Mr. Rose, Miss Rudrum and Jeff the Chapman. This was definitely one of the highlights of the year with many bonds and memories made, particularly our performance of the Mexican Wave when placing down the flowers at the memorial service. One of the last things about year nine was Mr. Nichols ahead of year at the time of at the time having to leave and transfer to another school. In year 10, everything such as schoolwork, organising, schoolwork and more schoolwork seemed pretty crazy. Life didn't seem hard at all, but somehow we still managed to stress about exams. Some of us performed out in Oracy, and according to my fabulous memory, our class was outstanding with nine outstandings overall. It actually felt like deep and meaningful sessions, but it was definitely an eye-opener on some of the talent in our youth group and the inner beauty hidden in everyone. Ms. Markic also wholeheartedly volunteered to become our hoy, and Mr. Julia had to leave. But by the end of the year, we were all looking smart and ready for the next chapter of high school in our brand new white shirt.
Upper school, year 11. The time to settle down and get serious for what was going to contribute to our future path. We totally did. We all became even closer than most of us could have ever imagined would be possible. And that was a spark to our, should I say, utter unique and quirkiness, particularly with Sujad and Ragwan. And the entire group of affectionate year 11 boys that were Year 11 boys that made our year group what it is today, different. Some highlights of the year were bumping up from Division E to Division D in school, in inter-school, our very first ball, as well as our very first and rather extraordinary dancing on the Crystal Swan, the River Cruise. Year 11 was also the time with our new principal, Mr. Downsborough. However, it was also a time of wonderful teachers and admins leaving, like Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Rose, Mr. Botcher, and more. We knew that next year was our final year, but really, who knew exactly how crazy, stressful, and life-changing it was really going to be. Finally, here we are. We've made it. Year 12. Where do, I, where do I even begin with this year? Firstly, we've had a complete revolution with new principals and deputies. Some of us went on a leadership camp and participated in our final swimming carnival with Batman and the gang. Congratulations to Pegasus, who are also the swimming champions of 2013. Then came the ball, a night of stunning and gorgeous women, as well as handsome and beautifully good men. There wasn't a better way to end the magical night than with a slow dance to Enrique Iglesias' hero. It was a rather tough and challenging year with annual events cancelled for various reasons. However, we still stuck together as a year group and grew more fond and even more comfortable with each other and our weirdness. With the stress and anxiety continuing to build up until the end of exam week, we put graduation aside and tried to focus on finishing our outstanding work and being the best we could in school. Now that the exams are over, it wasn't long until we hit us that we, the small year eights who are now yet small, who are now big yet small year twelves, are graduating. Five years of high school life and the time has come. Our tears are set and our memories are replaying in our heads over and over again. But, but this wouldn't have been possible without Wonder Woman herself, Mrs. Markic. With, her with her continuous and unconditional love and care, we're all here today, grateful and so thankful, and so thankful to her, to have her as our hoy, guardian, teacher, and friend. We would like to invite Mrs. Markic to the stage to collect a small gift of appreciation on behalf of all the year 12s. consultant, food provider, entertainment and more, are the greatest bunch of people we have ever met. We've been through so much, both individually and as a group. But here we are today, stronger and more loving than ever. Even though I may not have spoken or been as close with all of you, I've seen amazing changes and transformations happen within everyone, and I know for sure that somewhere in this world, there is a special place for you. You just gotta go out and find it. Until tonight, enjoy the rest of our time together while we can, and I wish you all good health and good luck in the future. As for the rest of the school, you still have a long way to go, but know that no deed goes unrewarded and your hard work will pay off. The last thing you want is to realize that you could have done better. So take this opportunity and make the most of it. We wish each of you success and never forget to strive to succeed. Thank you.